Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com. I'm here to give a quick overview on how to play our Pyramid Math 2 game. Now, this is a remake of the Pyramid Math game, and it basically plays the same. The uh, code has been updated and the graphics have been updated, but basically, uh, this is the same game. However, it plays on more devices because it will play in any um, device that has a browser on it. It doesn't require the Flash Player. So let's go ahead and take a look at the game. This will be a quick video because uh, the game's fairly simple to play. And um, so when you uh, this game, when you first start the game, this is what you'll see. And this is like all the other games on MathNook. There's never any membership or sign up required, and they're all free to play. So when you first start the game, you'll see this button. And if you want to go right to the game, you just click this button, and we'll do that in a minute. The instructions <coughs> takes us to the instruction page and it, I'm not going to read that out because I'm going to go over it everything and you can see uh, how to play yourself. The video button will take you to the, this video, the page on our website that contains this video, and the more games button will uh, take you to lofgames.com which is, stands for lots of fun games.com and they have, uh, it's our sister site and we have uh, lots of uh, math games and fun games, puzzle games to play on that site. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start, you'll have the, these options. You can choose back to go back to the main menu. The uh, POW stands for power, or same thing, exponents. Square, the SQRT stands for square root. LCM, least common multiple. And GCF is greatest common factor. And I'll take a look at each one of them. And the next menu you'll see is this menu and you'll have to choose to play the time bonus time or without mistakes mode the time mode is just uh, straight 60 seconds of play and at the end you can see how many answers you got correct uh, how many you were able to answer and how many you got incorrect bonus time is the same as time it plays for 60 seconds but you get bonus time for each answer you answer that you uh, each problem that you answer correctly and without mistakes you just keep playing until you make your first mistake and then that uh, game's over and you have to restart so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, play the time level and um, the choose between easy and hard and really uh, the easy mode depending on what your skill level is uh, is not necessarily that easy but I can tell you hard is even harder than the easy level so let's go ahead and take a look at easy uh, so now it's saying 2 to the power of 2, and it says put the gem in the jar that has that result. So it is 4, and same thing, a repeat. You sometimes do see that. There we go, that's 9. And then um, if you get one wrong, let's go ahead and put 11 in there. The correct answer is four. Click to continue. Notice the time stopped. And okay, 10 to the second. What I want to show you is on this particular uh, game, if you do happen to go into the hard level, we haven't seen it yet, but put that in there. I want to show you that. There you go. Negative seven to the power of two. So you're going to see some a little bit hard, bigger problems and uh, negative numbers are involved in the harder level in this uh, particular skill. Okay, let's go back to the main menu and we'll take a quick look at square root. Uh, easy. And the same thing uh, for you have the different answers. And you notice too, um, because these gems can show up upside down like that, the line is underneath there showing you the the bottom of the gym so if it's upside you know upside down you know that one's upside down because the line is towards the top okay um, next one is least common multiple and that one's an easy one uh, the least common multiple that should be uh, 40 whoa and again if I get it wrong it's going to tell you what the correct answer is. Last but not least, whoa, I went past it. Greatest common factor. And that is going to be 2 on this one. 
to again. I'm just going to go to where you see a problem where it's a little bit more difficult. It should be four. And let's just grab the wrong one there. That's obviously the wrong answer. It tells me which one is uh, the correct answer for that. Let's go ahead and uh, one other thing I want to show you before I go. And then, so if we go ahead and go back to the exponents. And actually, what I want to do is go into the exponents, but I want to show you what it's uh, what happens at the very end, so you can kind of see what happens when it ends and what what information you're given. Okay, for the two is sixteen, uh, four, and I've got two correct. And then let's go ahead and uh, make a wrong answer here. And now it t tells me that I attempted three three problems. Got two of them correct, and the correct percentage is 66%. So that's what you'll see on the end of each level. You'll see how you did uh, in each particular uh, game. Let's go back to the main menu. And um, so anyways, I hope uh, you enjoy playing this game. I hope this video has helped some, and I'd like to say thanks for watching.